Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students. Welcome to our science class. So today is Wednesday, and the date is tw uh, 25 of November 2020. We are going to talk about our solar system. What is a solar system? Let's take a look at these slides and learn about solar system. Hello. I'm Dr. Shah, an astronomer. Do you like staring at the moon and stars in the sky? Me too. That's what I do for my job. I study the moon, stars, and planets. In the model shown here, we are taking a quick trip around Earth and the moon. If we were spending a longer time on our trip, the moon would actually change its position and Earth would be rotating too. But this is just a quick trip, so it looks like they're in the same position. You'll learn more about this later. Click on the highlighted areas to see some of the objects I study. Then, click the next button to continue your journey to the planets and stars. So, our solar system is made from what? Who can tell me? Is made from what? What do you see? What do you see? Okay, what about Dr. Shaw? Dr. Shaw is what? Is she a doctor? A dentist? A teacher? Hi, Batun. What is she? She is learning about Earth. Okay, not only Earth? No, and moon and stars. Excellent, excellent. It's learning about moon and stars. Very good, very good, very nice. Okay, Earth goes around the sun. That makes the sun what? Is the sun a planet or a star or only a rock? Who knows? If you know, raise your hand. If you know, what is the sun? Yes, Yelamar, sit properly, please. Yes, Elamar. The sun is a planet. No, it's not a planet. Think again. Think again. Okay. It's very shiny and very hot. Is it a planet or a star or a rock? Uh, maybe star. Excellent. Yes, it's a big shiny star. Very nice, very nice. Now let's learn more about them. First of all, we are going to start with the stars. What are the stars? This is a star. Do you think you can count the stars in the night sky? No one has done that yet. Each star is a faraway sun. So stars are really so many and a lot in the sky. No one can could count them at all. They are shiny and bright, very nice. Even astronauts couldn't count the stars. Now let's take a look at Earth. Earth is our planet. This is what Earth looks like from space. You can see the blue oceans and the brown and green land. So, most of Earth is blue or green. Hi, Elujane. Most of Earth have blue or green? Blue. Blue. So, most of it is ocean and water. What about the green and brown areas? What are they? The green is the grass. Excellent. And the brown is? The rocks. Thank you, Yellow Jane. Thank you very much. Here is the moon. The moon is not a planet. If you look closely, you can see the bumpy craters on the surface of the moon. So, the moon is not a planet. Is the moon a planet or not? No. Here Excellent. is the moon. The moon is not a planet. If you look closely, you can see the bumpy craters on the surface of the moon. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome to the lesson. What are planets and stars? In this lesson, you'll learn about each planet in our solar system. You'll also find out about stars and constellations. The vocabulary words for this lesson are planet, orbit, solar system, star, and constellation. Click each word to find out more about it. Yes, Rose. You are Judy, and I know Judy is one kind of roses. Yes, Judy. Like, can, you, can you ask me a question? Yes. So, what is a solar system? Solar systems are planets that are all, all around the sun, so they can have heat too. Excellent. So, when they go all around the sun, what do I call going around the sun? I say orbiting. Why orbiting? Because they have a pathway and this pathway called orbit. See the circles around the sun? Are they real, Judy, or they are imaginary? Uh, they are imaginary. Excellent, Judy, very nice, yes. They are imaginary lines, but they make the path for all planets to go around the sun. Now let's take a look at the second slide. I'm gonna come back to you, Judy. I know how you are excited about this. Earth is just one planet orbiting the sun. The sun is just one star in a galaxy with billions of stars. The sun and the planets make up the solar system. Let's take a closer look at our solar system. Again, again. Listen to it again. Earth is just one planet orbiting the sun. The sun is just one star in a galaxy with billions of stars. The sun and the planets make up the solar system. Let's take a closer look at our solar system. Now, the sun, I told you, it's a huge big star. It's a shiny star. Is it the only one in the galaxy or it's there are so many? Is it the only star in the galaxy or there are so many? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yes, Rosanna. Um. <laughs> Um, there's a lot more galaxy. Excellent, excellent. We have a lot of stars in the galaxy. And what about planets, Yerozana? Only one planet, which is Earth, or we have so many? So many. Excellent, Rosanna. Thank you. Thank you. You can close your mic. So, and both of them, planets and stars in the galaxy makes the? Hi, Lamar. They make up the solar. What? Stars and planets all around together in the galaxy, they make up a, a solar. A solar system. Excellent, Lamar. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Earth is a planet that orbits one star. Okay, there are more stars in the sky than you can count. This is our solar system. Our solar system is made up of the sun, eight planets, dwarf planets, and moons. Click the highlighted areas to learn more. So, solar system has sun, Eight planets, dwarf planets, and moons. Let's start with the sun. Did you know that one million Earths could fit inside the sun? It's true. The sun is a star, a bright, hot ball of gas at the center of our solar system. A solar system is made up of a star and all the objects that orbit that star. Many objects orbit our sun, planets, moons dwarf planets, asteroids, and comets. So, the sun looks just like the queen, and everyone is orbiting around the sun. Everyone is moving around the sun, going around the sun in a right path, and each one in a, 
in its own path. We have eight planets going around the sun and so many moons and also we have dwarf planets. All these are going around the sun and they are not touching each other because each one of them have its own pathway. Now, what makes a big giant ball of the sun? Gases, it is full of gases. And those gases are very, very hot. They give us energy and warmth, warmness. We feel warm, okay guys? Now let's take a look at the earth. Planets are large balls of rock or gas that orbit a star. Our solar system has eight planets. Each one of these planets has unique characteristics. For example, Earth is the only planet to have liquid water. Jupiter gives off more energy than it receives. Mars has the largest volcano in the solar system. Drama. Now, what makes up a planet? A planet can be made of what? Rocks and gases or marshmallows, huh? <laughs> gases. Of course, it's rocks and gases. So think about the earth. Does it have so many rocks or not? Yes. Do we have Yes, excellent, Yarama. Do we have mountains? Think with me. Do we have mountains? Yes. Excellent. So we have rocks. What else do we have on our earth, Yarama? It's in blue and green. So what do we have in our earth? Oh, shit. Yes, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Yarama. Thank you very much. So, Earth is made of rocks and gases. Other planets can be made of rocks, but not water. The only planet that has liquid water is Earth, okay? Most of them, if they have blue color, because they have lots of gases, okay, guys? Let's take a look about the moon. Moons orbit a planet while the planet orbits a star. Our moon is one quarter the size of Earth. It's an unusually large moon compared to its planet. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune all have moons that orbit them. Jupiter and Saturn are such big planets that they each have dozens of moons. And more are being discovered all the time. All right. So Earth has only one moon, okay? It has only one moon orbiting around it. And it's a little bit big. It's quarter of the Earth, all right? But other planets, because they are so huge, bigger than Earth, they have so many moons. Some of them can have 150 moons goes around it. But Earth has how many moons, guys? Huh, Dina? Earth has how many moons? The Earth? Excellent, yeah, Jenna. Yes, Dana, Adina. How many moons does the Earth have? Yeah. Only? One. Yes, excellent, Yadina. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Now let's take a look at the dwarf planet. What, do, how, what are dwarf planets? Did you know that Pluto used to be considered a planet? But now, scientists have decided that Pluto is actually a dwarf planet, which is a small planet-like object. There are other dwarf planets in our solar system, but Pluto is one of the largest. So dwarf planets, they look like planets, but they are not really uh, planets. That's why they call it dwarf planets. Before, we used to have Pluto as one of our planets, but now scientists decided that Pluto is a dwarf planet and not a real one, okay? 
Now let's take a look at this. Do planets. you ever wonder why planets do not bump into one another? See? It's because planets orbit the sun in fixed paths. Click the pictures to learn more about a planet and its orbit. So we have eight planets and so many dwarf planets, all of them orbiting around the sun, but none of them bumping to each other. Why? Because they go in a fixed pathway. This fixed pathway make them go each one on its own without uh, touching the other or harming the other or disturbing other so they don't bump to each other and no problem is there. Let's take a look at them. Watch this animation. See how the planets move in slightly oval paths around the sun? The planets stay in these orbits because of the sun's gravitational pull. In order of distance from the sun, the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So, these are all the planets going around the sun. <coughs> <coughs> now, guys, can you see the lines? The white line going around the sun? This is the orbit. This is the pathway. Is it real? Do you think it's real, Yalara? Are these lines are real or imaginary? What do you think? Yes, miss. Look at these pathways. Each planet yes. will take its own pathway to go around the sun, okay? We call it yes. orbit. They orbit around the sun. Do you think these lines are imaginary lines or they are real? They have lines to Excellent. Nine. Excellent, Yalara. Yes, you are right. They are imaginary lines. They are not real. But the real thing about it that they go through this way. This is the orbit, okay? Now let's take a look about Earth. How does Earth go around the sun? How long it takes, do you think, for a sun to complete one whole round. If you know, raise your hand. If you have any idea, I want you to raise your hand. How long Earth will take to complete one whole round? Where is Juri? I'm trying to find Juri. Yes, you Juri. Yeah. Okay, so do you have any idea? Earth, how long it will take Earth to complete one whole round? 24 hours. Hmm, are you sure? I yes. think the sun is too big, really big. This is not yeah. enough time to complete one whole round around the sun. It's not really enough. Okay, listen to this video and answer me after that. Okay, yeah, Judy? Okay. Rama, you have an answer? Okay, Rama. Yes, Rama. This is one year. Yes, excellent. It will take one whole year because it's too big and it needs a lot of time to do that. So during our year, we are moving around the sun. To complete one whole round, we need one whole year. Thank you, Rama. 24 hours that, <laughs> thank you, dear. Okay, 24 hours it takes, uh, it takes us to complete one whole round around us when we go around our Earth, okay? When you go, when Earth goes around itself, it takes 24 hours and that's what makes day and night. But one year to complete round around the this sun. This is Earth's orbit. Earth's orbit is an oval, but it's almost a perfect circle. Earth completes its orbit in 365 days, which is one year. Okay. Hi, Judy. Now, how many days it takes to complete one whole orbit? 365 years. 
I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I Thank you, Judy. Thank you very much. These are the orbits of Earth and Mars. The closer a planet is to the sun, the faster the planet moves in its orbit. Earth takes one year to orbit the sun. Mars takes 687 days, or nearly twice as long as Earth, to orbit the sun. The amount of time it takes a planet to orbit the sun is considered its year. So, if the planet is close enough to the sun, it will orbit fast and quickly, okay? It will take less time. But like Mars, Mars is a little bit away from the sun, so it will take twice the time that an Earth takes to complete one round, okay? All right, girls, that's enough for today. I'm going to open for you a video with Dr. Binex and with another one so we can learn more about planets and Earth. Okay, guys? And solar system. Thank you for watching. Thank you, YouTube. Let's say goodbye, YouTube. We're going to stop recording now and we are going to open the video. Okay? Very good.